This is a GEP 726. This is in for repair. I washed the whole outside of it with 70% uh, alcohol. Now I'm going to let it sit in the sun and let the insides sterilize for several hours. Okay, let's see if we can diagnose and repair this thing before the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation sterilizes and exterminates me with some COVID-19 vaccine that they mandate that everybody get injected into their bodies. Let's take a look at the symptom. Well, we have some hiss that increases with the volume control. But we have absolutely nothing from the tuning condenser adjusting the tuning. It will start by checking the batteries. Should have four and a half volts here. And that's exactly what we have. We're on the bottom scale, 1 to 10. Now next I want to inspect these antenna wires because sometimes the front end will not work at all without the antenna. And they all look good. In fact, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get some new clamps and clamp this antenna uh, down because I don't want it to break while I'm working on it. Well, the closest I could get with these things is 7 sixteenths, which is better than nothing, but it's still kind of loose in there. Okay. This is Southern California's only 24 news and traffic station. We'll just tune it right there. Oh, that's it's not going to work, is it? Okay, what did I do here? Okay, let's try that again. A piece of this had fallen down under. From the north 15. I don't know, it's interfering with this. The oscillator, if the oscillator is working right in this, it will interfere with the working radio. But it does almost doesn't sound strong enough. Nah, that don't sound right. Let's compare it to this one. Uh, unpreparedness for this, and make sure that in the future we are better positioned. Hear the difference? I mean, it, it, it interferes with it from that far away. Nah, this sounds weak. So let's see, we've got a converter here. We've got one IF, two IFs. And then we got a... Uh, what's it using for a... Uh, is it using a diode? Yes, they are using a detector diode. Okay, this is the oscillator transistor 
up in here behind this IF can you can see it with the dot on it right there this is the first IF that's the oscillator back in there first IF second IF is this one right here Um, the detector transistor is I detector diode is inside this can, uh, and that's the first audio right there. And this is the audio output push pull. First thing I want to do is pull the board out and inspect for bad traces on a GE, especially when I see Karoti Doodle. And this is precisely what I mean if you can see this. Barnacles growing on the circuit board here. Look at that. So you always want to inspect visually before you do anything. And I think in this case, since it's so... Wow, look at the transistor. Well, hell, that's got to be a problem right there. The damn white lead is corroded... So here's the question then, why was this having any effect at all on that? Simply because the tuning capacitor and the bar antenna act like a, act like some kind of tuned circuit? We could try it. So let's see. We know that it didn't have nearly the effect that the other radio did, but let's see. The virus is striking even in states with a lot of open spaces in the... Yeah, I guess so. So I guess when you do this test of putting one radio next to another, you have to be careful to make sure that the oscillator is actually running, not just having a tuned circuit next to another radio. But yeah. Wow, that is one corroded transistor. Do I dare use some our precious some of our precious alcohol and a uh, paper towel? A couple squirts of alcohol probably exceeds the value of the radio. I just hope the trans the IF transformers aren't all eaten up inside. This is this is bad, but I've seen this before on GE radios. This will be like the third or fourth one I've seen it on. So, yeah, let's uh, get our COVID-19 juice here and do a little disinfecting. I want to be careful with this. Two hands is better. It's a little better, isn't it? Uh, this has had some work done on it before. These solder joints here are fresher than the rest of them. So I wonder what that is. Uh, check out how the alcohol actually like was seeping through the board. I hope I hope this there's hope for this. Um, that transistor there, 817 or whatever the second IF, that one has either been changed or something. Look at this corroded ass. This is why you never leave batteries in a radio. The schematic shows this as a 2N212. Or 1297, which is what it says on here. And that shows it as an NPN germanium. We have 0.6 volts on the base and 0.8 on the emitter, which would be a germanium transistor. Now, NPN germaniums are kind of 
uncommon. They're kind of rare. I'd almost like to double confirm that. I wonder what happened if we just put a silicon in there. So as far as biasing goes, up here we have 3 volts. There are 39K. Then we have a volt. This is a voltage divider. So then we have a 10K. So we basically have 40K here, and then we have 10K here. Here, 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 here. So we might, if we want to go to silicon, we probably would need to go up a little bit on the 10K. I don't know, maybe do a 15. But we could try it. It might just work because it silicon likes about point point five five point six volts bias, not point two. But let's measure it just for the entertainment value. Let's measure the voltage across this 10k and see how much voltage is there without the transistor and circuit. R2. Actually, that's a 47K, a 10K, and a 1K. This calls for a 39K, a 10K, and a 1K. So they're, they're up even higher here. So the bias would be even lower than with a 39, but let's measure it. So the bias voltage with the transistor removed is 460 millivolts. That's almost, that's kind of too low for a uh, silicon. So like I said, silicon would like 550 to 650. I mean, that's good for germanium. Okay, this is an MP37 Soviet transistor. And this is Russian germanium. You can see the forward voltage here is 222 millivolts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try this um, in here. To see if the radio works and then if the radio works maybe we'll attempt to convert this to silicon and change the bias resistors all right I think I got that in there right if I could find the volume control still dead I think I got that in there right I kind of noticed there was a little bit of activity with this. not No stations, but just some hiss. So I'm wondering... Okay, I inspected... Uh, I tested, ohmed out both this oscillator coil and the antenna. And the oscillator still is not running. And I'm looking at the circuit, there's really not much here. There's these two disk capacitors. Could the, could the contaminant have leaked into those and caused them to go bad? And the voltages all are there. I don't think they're right because the oscillator is not running. Listen to this, if I touch a soldering iron here. becomes like a TRF set. Let me see what this MP37 is. I thought this was good for RF, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's only good up to 100 kilocycles or something. MP37 is good to one megahertz. That might be pushing it, actually. That might be pushing it. You would think it might work at the low end of the band, but not the high, but mm, we gotta try a different transistor. Well, how about this? This is NPN. Uh, this is a USAF 2N167. Let's see, um, emitter base collector. Well, that's promising. Of how they control people. But in terms of being optimistic, three world religions. It's a particularly every white person in the world is going to look inside the pot. It's got numbers. So you're kind of like a 
safe cracker. Hmm, got a bad volume control. The whole bank robbery team. Like, there's literally can't find the diagnostic. So, and what's the thing? Then, there's culture. And then my fight is... That's almost a deal killer. Yeah, this is a specialized volume control uh, with the power switch on the back. It's almost a deal killer with this radio. Probably be cheaper and easier just to buy one, a new one off eBay. Um, and they, GE made a billion of this style. I mean, that right there is basically the same. It's almost easier just to buy a new one rather than screw with it. We could try and pop a silicon transistor in here and play with the bias just for entertainment value, but this is, you know. Would you remember me? How hard is that? I mean, that's... That could be probably be replaced with a lot of work, but yeah. These are Russian silicon RF transistors. Probably like a 2N2222. Look at the forward voltage on this is 726 millivolts to turn it on. Well, let's put that in there and screw with the resistors. We got nothing to lose. All is not an emergency. A dispatch will refer to a physician specialist who's on the link to determine if we don't need to send an ambulance. Okay, I pulled the 47K out and put a 100K trim pot. Let's see what happens. So, nothing happens. Really, really hurts that you can't turn the volume down. I mean, my ear is ringing. Oh, I think we got it. Uh, 
So drive. Montagne. 850 people. Let's go. Play with this organ. That's a touchy adjustment. Trying to get LA oldies, and I know it's working right. Okay, this is a, we'll try this one. This is a 2N3563. Three, this is a NPN UHF oscillator. It didn't like that last one. The last two, actually. Obedient, uh, what happened? This volume control is horrible. Problems. Swanson. So that works great, man. That transistor works absolutely great. Um, and yeah, I do have the bias because it had a 47K, which would be, 47K would be about straight up, straight away from the base. Oh, and Swanson, Swanson fouls it off, it's 2-1, the 2019 Chevy Silverado. That would be about 47K. And see, it doesn't do anything, so we're... I don't know, dropping it down, we'll have to measure it, maybe 35K. But if you turn it up too high, it starts to oscillate. So we want to stay out of the oscillation zone. When the virus ends, when he knows the virus will end. So they get rid of Radio Disney Country? I continue. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Thank you for being with us. Hi, Michael. How are you? Thanks for having me. 
Well, you're them up. The Bill Gates Foundation and his foundation have connections to Soros and Fauci. And what is it that worries you about those connections, Doctor? Well, I added a 470 ohm resistor here to to load down the uh, output of the volume control which gives us much more control it's like the best balance I can get between you know overloading it to the point where we lose too much gain and having it work to where it's the radio semi usable it's kind of usable right now. But yeah, this is real touchy. This, I mean, you, you turn this up just a little bit too much, and that thing starts to oscillate. Listen. And then you back it off a little bit too much. That is a fine adjustment. That that is really affects the sensitivity. So we'll pull that out and measure it. See what this looks like if we crank it up to where it freaks out. Okay, this seems to be working pretty good, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the transistor to the top and then I'm going to pull the uh, trim pot out and measure the value and put a fixed resistor there. Well, that's convenient. It looks like we went to a uh, 33K. Would that be orange, orange, orange? That's a common standard value. That's a 33K, but it's actually measuring like 32.8, and it's too low. I need to go up a little bit. I went to a 39, and that's too high. I could adjust the 100 up. I tried going to a 39K, and the gain dropped off too much, so I went back to a 33. Really don't care if it oscillates at the top of the band, because this is only going to be used on 1260 and 1070. I also got the transistor installed. I also left the 47K in there just in case at any point we want to go back to the right NPN germanium transistor, but this works really good, so uh, it should be really stable too. I've been playing with these combinations of resistors for the volume control, trying to get it as good as I can, and that's about as good as I can get it. Okay, we're all back together. Notice I didn't change any capacitors. It's working good. When the radio is closed, the speaker next to the antenna actually detunes it a little bit, so I had to detune the trimmer when it's open so that when you close it it wakes up it's in tune when it's closed listen gets louder important time we are everywhere you are at 1078 radio.com app and your smart speaker Press 
putting together a council on reopening the country. And the story's coming up in three minutes. Sign 35, traffic. Benefits. It's a bit cold, but how about instead of 70... Thomas or Wills. Alrighty, next up, Ask Mel, Darian Mel. Autism and children. Learn. They're wealth, Illinois, across the river. Okay. All shut down. Six, eight. Detalles de la casa.